Are you learning tarot but you're struggling to make sense of all the cards together? But it's really hard to know exactly the meaning of the whole story, the message. You understand specifics, details about each card, but actually making a whole story is difficult, even impossible sometimes. It's because you're missing one specific important point here. You need to channel. Channeling is absolutely essential in tarot reading. If you want to get the full story, you need to channel. So what does it mean, channeling? Channeling is being in a state where you receive insights, ideas, uh, inspired thoughts. It can happen in different ways for different people. Each person channels differently. But channeling guides your tarot readings. One of the best ways to start channeling, at least for me, is through objects. You can use objects to channel. So, for example, if you find that you have a strong um, ability <clears throat> using crystals, you can use a crystal. Um, if you find that you are really into fire, then you can use candles. If you think that uh, coffee readings can help you, then maybe you can start reading coffee. But any kind of object or any kind of tool here that is helping you to open your channel is going to help you read your cards. So another thing about channeling is going to be important to listen to every single intuitive thought and actually relate it to whoever you're reading the cards to. So if it's yourself, you're gonna have to pick that up. If it's for others, you're gonna have to tell them. You're gonna need to accept that whatever you're channeling is not yours. It's not for you to hold on to. You need to send it and let it go. Channeling through an object is a way to start your channeling journey. You can also using art if you're an artist if you're someone who relates <clears throat> to artwork if you can actually paint or draw you can channel that way many people i know actually do it that way so you can channel through your art you can also channel through your writing if you are a writer you can use that as a channel uh, media you can also do channeling using a specific activity that helps you stay fully present so for example, some people are able to channel while they're making food. Others are able to channel while they are cleaning up their home. You don't have to do a specific thing. You need to be fully present and you're gonna start receiving the messages and you need to be able to move with those. So don't get stuck on every single thing, move with them. Listen to that, go with the gut feeling, don't start criticizing, analyzing every single details and trying to pick them on and pick on the little things. Because in that sense, you're blocking the channel. So the first thing important here, channeling comes with the flow, okay? It's really important to stay in the flow. Last but not least, channeling is important when you're reading your cards. But also one thing that is really important because when you channel for yourself or for others, you are picking up on heavy energy sometimes. So keeping yourself cleansed when it comes to your energy, really important to cleanse your energy and to know how to protect yourself. So you need techniques to do that. You can't just pretend that it's gonna happen for itself. You actually need to put steps to cleanse your energy regularly and to protect your energy regularly. So I hope this was helpful. I really hope that you try this method. Let me know in the comment section and if you need any kind of guidance from myself, if you need more details, you can always email me or send me a booking through my website. I love you guys so much. I hope this was helpful. See you later, bye.